For some applications, we may have an existing list of usernames, and we'd like to simplify onboarding of these users into our freshly developed app. For this sample, we'll use the Employees table of the Northwind Sample database. This app has been configured with the basic custom membership configuration. In our app, registered users will sign in with their standard username and password. For users that have not yet been registered, they will sign in with their last name and extension as the password. Let's override the framework's user login functionality to detect if an unregistered user is trying to log in and create the user as needed. Open the project in Visual Studio. Under the app code folder, let's create a custom folder. and create a file called applicationservices.override.cs. We will want to overwrite the user login method of the application services class in our project's namespace. When the user submits a request to log in, this method is called. First, we'll see if a username exists with a matching username. If the user does not exist, we'll figure out the extension of the employee matching the username, and if it matches the password, we'll go ahead and create the user. Now that our login code is ready, let's go ahead and debug it and see how it works. First, we'll log out and attempt to sign in as one of our employees, Devolio. We can see that we've hit the breakpoint in our method. Let's go ahead and step through. We've checked our table of users and the user does not exist. So now we'll check to see if the password matches the extension of an employee. You can see that we've found one record where the username matches the last name of an employee and we'll pull out the extension. If the extension is not null or empty, and the extension meets the password, which appears that it does, then we'll go ahead and create the user. Notice that we've received an error. The password supplied does not conform to the password strength requirements. 
For this sample, we'll need to reduce the password strength requirements. In the App Generator, click on the project name, go to Settings, Authentication and Membership. We'll want to add a few more options to our custom membership provider. Custom Membership provides the ability to specify the options under the Custom Membership configuration. If you are using Standard Membership, we can use the Web Config Modification instructions seen here. Let's proceed to generate the app. We can validate that we've made the correct changes by opening the web config file in Visual Studio. We can see that under our membership provider, the properties that we have specified have been passed in here. Now that our password requirements have been set, let's go ahead and try out our code again. Let's try to log in as Devolio. We've hit our breakpoint. The user does not exist. We've found our extension, which matches the password. And we created our user as well as added the user to the role Users. Now we can proceed to log in. We're now in. Once we've made it inside the system, our user can now go ahead and change their password using the My Account feature. If we log out and try to log in as one of the standard user accounts, it still proceeds as expected. We can now seamlessly grant the ability to access the site for the first time for all of our users without having to create a user account ahead of time. While using a three-digit password is inadvisable in any production system, this technique can be used to provide temporary passwords to a group of users.